Hi, I decided to draw 31 VTubers for Inktober 2021, also referred to as VTober. Haha, <laughs> I get it, cause October, V, V, oh, yeah, you get it. Now normally I like to use stickers that relate to the theme, but uh, the only VTuber stickers I had were these Halloween stickers I received as part of an enamel pin order. So the cover is just gonna have general cute girl stickers. It's like the same thing anyway. So starting off VTuber, I had to dedicate day one to the mother of all VTubers as far as I know, Kizuna Ai. If you follow my Instagram or Twitter, then chances are you've probably seen me post these drawings every day in October. This is going to be a pretty short and sweet video since I won't be dwelling too much on each drawing unless you want to hear me gush about everyone's VTuber designs for like 40 minutes. I asked my followers on Twitter who they'd want to see me draw for this particular prompt. So this sketchbook is filled with a mix of popular requests, VTubers I personally really enjoy, and VTubers whose designs made me go, wow, that looks like it'd be fun to draw. Of course, that means I couldn't draw absolutely every single person who was requested, but hopefully you at least see one of your favorites in this tour. And if there's any new ones that catch your interest, I'll be including everyone's links in the order in which they appear in the description down below. Honestly, Inktober never really gets easier, uh, because every single year around this time I am very rusty with pen and ink. But it definitely has been getting more fun each year that I do it, and this one was some of the most fun I've ever had with the sketchbook. But I'm pretty sure it's because I never follow the official Inktober prompt and I got to draw 31 gorgeous unique VTuber designs. And on the plus side, thanks to your guys' Twitter suggestions, I got introduced to so many different VTubers that I wasn't familiar with before. I was only like knee deep into the VTuber hole before I started the sketchbook, but I feel like at this point I'm like my whole body's all the way down at the bottom. And you know, there's no going back. I think I fell in the same way a lot of people did. You watch one funny or cute clip and then suddenly they're flooding a recommended section and the next thing you know you're listening to their music or tuning into their actual streams and then drawing them every single day for a month. If you see any pages with stickers covering the drawing or with the words redraw at the top, it means I effed up during the inking process and had to redo it. It happens in every Inktober, it just means a few of them are gonna show up a second time at the end. except. Looking better. Also, don't be weirded out by the blue lines you see under the drawing. Those are just sketch lines that I didn't erase because honestly, who has the time? And anyways, like I kind of like how they look with the ink, so I figured I'd keep them there. I am really proud of how all of these drawings turned out, which is surprising considering the fact that every Inktober there's usually a good number of days where I think it looks really bad. But this time around, I really feel like I can see a jump in improvement since my last sketchbook tour. I mean, I'm always gonna think my most recent sketchbook looks way better than the last since I'm naturally improving the more I draw. But it's still interesting. I look back on my old 2017 and 2018 sketchbooks that I used to be really proud of, and now I'm like, bleh, trash, disgusting. Why did I ever think this looked good? And I feel like it's only a matter of time before I feel the same way about this one. But for now, I'm going to give myself a supportive pat on the back and then put it on the shelf next to its predecessors. While I was posting these, I had some people asking me, how do you manage to do a drawing every single day? It's so difficult to commit to. And you know what? I 100% agree, and that is why I do all of the sketches a few days in advance. Personally, I think trying to think of what pose to do or how to draw the picture is the biggest hurdle to get over and takes up the most brain power. If I started from scratch every single day, I would waste literally half my day just trying to finish the actual sketch. So one trick I always do is to just have the sketch ready for the day I need to ink for. That way I don't feel extra pressure from running out of time. And if I know that there'll be a busy day where I won't have time to draw anything, like if I need to take a trip to LA for a day, I'd finish the Inktober drawing for that day, a day in advance. Some people might consider this cheating, but I would rather ink multiple drawings in one day if I know it'll prevent me from falling behind. If you're curious about what materials I used, I used a mix of a couple of Statler pigment pens and Sakura Pigma Micron pens, but any non-smudging ink pen should work just fine. I also used some leftover Copic markers that I've had for several years. And lastly, I used a white Uniball gel pen for highlights. This one I decided to redraw because I messed up on the eyes, but I also thought the pose was really boring, so let's just skip past this really quick. You'll find out what it is soon. 
Here's the redraw of Day 15 Nirigami. His model is designed to look like pen and ink, so I thought he'd be perfect for Inktober. Following that is a redraw of Day 24, Protagonist. This one I'd actually like to redraw at some point because I'm not super happy with it. Ugh, you didn't see that. And here's the redraw of Day 28. I'm really glad I chose to redo this one because I think it looks way better than the first attempt. And lastly, I drew my model. I didn't want to take up any of the 31 spots, so I decided to include mine as an extra bonus. You might have seen peaks of this model already in Kira's rigging streams, but if you haven't, I'll be posting the model reveal on my Twitter and Instagram shortly after this video is uploaded. I was planning on making my streaming debut in November, but since Scribble Showdown is happening literally in a week, I'm gonna have to postpone it to probably December. By the way, Scribble Showdown tickets are still available to purchase, so if you happen to be in the area of any one of the 17 shows, please consider watching the show. It'll be a blast, I promise. Okay, done with the plug, moving on. So, that concludes the end of this sketchbook, except for a few blank pages I don't know what to do with and that one designated swatching page that everyone uses the last page for. I hope you guys enjoyed this yearly sketchbook tour. Please let me know which drawing ended up being your favorite down in the comments below. We'll be returning to our usual lengthier videos when I return from the Scribble Showdown tour. So, if I don't see you at the tour, I'll just see you when I come back. Uh, in like, what, mid-December? I don't know, I have to check. Okay, cool, bye.